Hi everyone, my name is Corey Kane. Today I'm going to be talking to you about traffic lights and how they work. Did you know the average person spends about six months of their lifetime stuck behind a traffic light waiting for it to turn from red to green? Well, now why do we do that? Well, we wait there because, for one, it's for safety. We don't, run in, we don't want to run into each other. And for two, it's there to provide us an optimum amount of time from point A to point B in that safe manner. Now, why did I choose this option? Why did I choose traffic lights to study? Well, other than general curiosity waiting at a traffic light one day, I thought that most kids in college are usually commuting to either work or to school. And we're experiencing a lot of red light issues because they're in our way and we wanna be there at school, at our jobs, doing something. So then I started to look at our system and what we have in place. In the United States and Fort Myers, there's a system for traffic, the traffic lights called the Vehicle Actuation System. The system is simply a method which determines the optimum green time for real-time traffic. Now what that means, what green time means, is how long a light will stay green. There is a minimum green time, which is the least amount of time that a light will stay green, and a maximum green time, which is the most amount of time that a light will stay green. These times are determined by the vehicle actuation system. But how? Well, the most common way is a timer. And then there's a not so common way, which can be found in most rural areas, called detectors. And these detectors can be a number of options. Lasers, cameras, air tubes on the ground, or the inductive loop system. Now, with all of these detectors in place, what is the most effective? Well, the most commonly talked about method is actually the inductive loop system. Most people mistake this for some sort of scale in the ground that detects your car based on its weight. However, the inductive loop system is a magnetic wire that transfers magnetic impulses from your giant metal car to the light to change it from red to green. This system is not that common in our urban setting. However, it is pretty common in rural areas. Now, is the vehicle actuation system the most effective traffic system? Well, it's definitely the most used, and it certainly has been determined to be the most effective. But it's only the most effective if it is properly maintained by local highway patrol. And highway patrol slash control units don't like to do work with these traffic systems that often. One, because they require a lot of labor. And two, that makes it very expensive. So sometimes the timers are set and they aren't optimum for the amount of traffic going through those lights. Or the detectors aren't doing their job properly. Or maybe the detectors are, for some reason or another, not useful in this new climate because of more people traveling through the area. But the vehicle actuation system does do its number one duty and it keeps us safe. It keeps us from colliding with each other and having T-bone collisions, head-on collisions, all sorts of just terrible car accidents that could result in death, injury, property loss, tons of different just problems that we don't want to deal with as a society. So maybe the next time you're at a traffic stop for more than two minutes, you might look around and see what it is that's determining your green time. Maybe you'll have fun instead of being bored and trying to figure out what's on the radio or even looking at your phone, which is another case entirely. Thanks.